What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial in Adobe After Effects CS6. I'm going to show you guys how to add a couple of effects to your video to make it look a little bit cooler. So I'm going to type in Light Burst. This is the first effect I want to apply. We're going to select our video, select Layer, New, and we're going to add an Adjustment Layer. Now we're going to take this effect, apply to the Adjustment Layer, select the drop down menu. So you notice the effect is already applied, but what I want is the viewer not to be able to tell the effect that's applied in the beginning of the video. So we're going to add a keyframe for the actual ray length and then we're going to set this at zero. Then we're going to scrub over here on the timeline, add another keyframe, we'll type in 175. So this is the way I want it to look. Then I want it to set it back to the way it looked in the beginning of the video. So we'll come over here to transform. In the beginning of the video, we're going to set a keyframe for opacity. Scrub over here, select another keyframe, and we're going to set this at zero. And what I'm going to do here it just move the keyframes a little bit further apart so it takes a little bit longer to apply. And you can adjust the keyframes for speed. And I think that looks pretty cool. And I think what I'm going to do for the opacity is right over here I'm going to add one more keyframe but we're going to make this 100. That way this effect takes a little bit longer to apply and then go back to normal. Press spacebar. Press spacebar one more time and that's what it would actually look like. And I think that looks pretty cool. Now one more thing I want to show you guys is adding an effect to your actual video that make your video look a little bit wavy and warped. And I thought this was a cool effect that I saw in After Effects. So I'm just going to move over here on the timeline. I'm going to type in smoke. I'm going to select a new adjustment layer again. So we're going to take the smoke rising effect, apply it to the adjustment layer. Now if you notice, it's applied to the entire adjustment layer. In the beginning of the video, we don't want it applied, so I'm going to come over here to Transform. I'm going to select Opacity, set this at zero. We're just going to move over here where the intro is complete. Set another keyframe for that, and it's going to be still at zero. So over here in the video, I would like the effect to be applied. We're going to add one more keyframe for zero. We're going to start the effect by adjusting the opacity to 100. And now you can't see the video itself, but the effect is right there. So let me adjust the blending mode, and I'm going to select multiple. And you have a lot of different adjustments here. Let me select a different color. I'll set it to blue. Yeah, this looks really weird. <laughs> this is what I was kind of thinking. It's like a warped, wavy look. And I thought it was pretty cool. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to share it with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.